am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen today. We're going to talk about uh, the debate. Of, okay, so Kamala Harris and uh, Donald Trump. Um, and see how this goes. So uh, this is going to be published on Wednesday morning if everything goes all right. So I uh, hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please. It just takes a minute. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Okay, here we go. So it, it should be on everybody's uh, topic today, I guess, uh, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump debate. Debate is a ridiculous thing to call it. We know this has nothing to do with debate, it has, uh, on, except for on Kamala's side, uh, Trump's not, uh, he's not capable of having a debate because he doesn't know what the facts are, and he, but we'll find out about that. So why they even call it that, I don't know. They just call it a, an argument. The, the national argument between an idiot and Kamala Harris. Gosh, I think I showed my uh, uh, prejudice there. Anyway, so the debate, just because that's what it's been called, uh, between uh, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. How is that gonna go tonight? We wanna know if, I guess, if Trump is going to actually have any salient points to talk about that makes sense. Uh, uh, if he's going to be nonstop lying in front of Kamala Harris, who, and if she, w if he, that's what happens, will she uh, point it out? No matter what happens in this debate, it's really all about Donald Trump. It's to see what kind of a show he's going to put on. That's what's going to cause a lot of people to tune in, and it's exactly what's going to cause me to tune out. I won't be watching it. I'll go back and catch clips of it on YouTube later. But before we do anything else, before I get too caught up in all of that, let's have just a moment, because we need it, <laughs> of meditation. So Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, what's going to go on? I guess it all has to start with him because, um, and then we'll finish up with Kamala because it's more pleasant. So Donald Trump in the debate tonight, will he have anything useful to add to this conversation? One, two, three. You know, let's go ahead and do six cards on him. Four, five, six. Is he going to have anything useful to add to this conversation? For me, it's useful just to see him lie some more, uh, and maybe that'll help some other people determine that they can't vote for him. But I wonder if that's not really, um, we'll see what the cards say. So the signifier card, will Trump have anything useful to add to this? Justice. This is interesting. So the signifier card of this read about whether Trump has anything useful to say is justice. This could certainly be read two different ways. It could be read as he's going to be speaking for justice or justice is going to prevail in this debate. That's You know, I like it that justice is a female. She is a darker skinned female. Okay. She seems to be the main attraction. Justice will prevail in this debate. And I may be in the form of Kamala Harris, but Donald Trump, anything useful. The, <laughs> okay, so the Seven of Cups, which is illusion and delusion. And the, the challenge to justice being the signifier of this debate is illusion and delusion. And who is this clown but Donald Trump? I'm sorry. So the illusion and delusion that he's going to throw up in the air is uh, going to be the challenge the, a legitimate challenge to the justice represented by Kamala Harris, I'm sorry. The basis of this whole thing is the seven of coins. So the seven of you know, coins are of value. They're 
not only money, but they're usually value. And the Seven of Coins is wondering if you've had done enough. That's the basis of this whole reading. And of course it is, and it's for both candidates. Kamala's, the basis for her is will she have done enough to increase her value and likewise with Donald Trump, the same thing. So the basis of all of this is establishing value. That's very interesting. I'm telling you, cards are right on. The past of this reading, and I'm reading primarily about Donald Trump, um, is strength. So, okay, support. Interesting that I was just drawn to say that because strength is in the past for Trump. Okay, his strength has waned. So it is not anymore. Uh, in the sky of this, uh, reading about the debate, and we're focusing on Trump at this point, is the Empress. So but this is an interesting Empress. Um, look, she's overstuffed. Um, she's uh, gluttonous. And uh, in the sky of this reading is the Empress. And it makes me, if it was the Emperor represented this way, I would see that as Donald Trump. But I kind of still do. So, so that's what's in the sky. To aim for this is to, you're aiming in this debate, Donald Trump. This is about Donald Trump. I don't want to uh, veer off and start talking about this like it's about Kamala. This is about Donald Trump. So he needs to aim for coming out on top as the empress, but he's just going to come through, I think, as a, a, a not credible one. And note that it's not emperor. And then the final outcome for this debate for Donald Trump is death. Wow. So end of a cycle, this debate, it looks like will be a significant contributor to the end of Donald Trump's winning cycle. That's interesting. Love it that it came out that way. But uh, now let's see what happens with uh, Kamala. So Kamala Harris in this debate, how is this going to look for her? Kamala Harris, the debate. How is this going to come out for her? And we'll do the same six cards and see uh, what this comes up to. Kamala Harris, the debate for her six cards. So go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The debate, Trump and Kamala. How is this for her? Okay, signifier card. Temperance, love it. Temperance is uh, emotional temperance. These are cups. And so you're trying to find that emotional balance. It's perfect. So the signifier card for Kamala is to find that right balance. The challenge to that is gonna be, again, worrying that she's done enough. I love when the cards repeat. To me, it just shows that, yeah, we're playing along. We hear what you're saying. We know how you interpret this card and we agree with it and we can use it to give you a, a divination. Love that. So, signifier is Kamala finding her, her balance, her compassionate uh, temperance balance, and uh, the challenge to it is worrying that she hasn't done enough. So she might uh, push too hard or not push hard enough, but it's all about getting her value up there. The baseline for all of this is the King of Cups. Again, Cups is compassion and uh, emotion, and the King of Cups is coming right out on top. So I guess this is telling us that what her baseline is, is that in balancing this emotion, she needs to make sure that she comes out. Look, he's at the he's at the performative part of that arc that these acrobats take. They swing out, they do something fabulous, and or, or show their uh, trick, and then they swing back in. So she needs to make sure that her, uh, as a King of Cups, is perfectly, perfectly timed. Perfect. And the past of this for Kamala Harris is the Eight of Cups, and that's practicing your craft, getting your value just right. And that's in the past. She's done it. It's complete for her. This is done. She has this um, wealth of knowledge to draw on. In the sky of this for Kamala Harris is the Pope S. Okay, so this is fantastic. It's like um, uh, an Empress card, uh, but in a better way. And this is really showing her being intuitively uh, in, in charge and respected and uh, this is how this is what she's aiming for this the, in the sky and then the likely outcome of this is illusion and delusion for Kamala Harris so I think what's gonna happen is the clown Trump is going to be able to cast some doubt on uh, on this 
uh, which is only all he wants to do. He doesn't want to win the debate. Winning the debate for him will be casting doubt. And that is the likely outcome. So there won't be, this won't be the be all end all as far as Kamala goes right to the top, but it, it will be significant. And the, but for others, significant amount of others will be, there will be, there will be enough illusion and delusion cast uh, to uh, hide some of Donald Trump. Very interesting. So we just got to see how it goes. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well of the Clown College there uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life. And then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these.